Hello everyone, this is Austin at the microphone as always, and in this short video, I would like to talk about a really cool feature that will help you significantly improve the visuals of your guides on Steam, and to understand exactly what we want to fix, let's open any Steam guide as an example. Then we find an image there, and see that it's just a screenshot from the game, sometimes even cropped incorrectly, just stupidly inserted into the guide, and that's it. And it looks, well, not great. We would like something prettier. For example, something that is nicely cropped and looks harmonious in the guide itself. And this is exactly the aspect we want to improve. But the question is, how do we neatly cut out an object so it doesn't look crooked? It's quite difficult to do, since most objects in Factorio don't have the smoothest edges, plus there are shadows and some animation. And perhaps some might think, well, maybe it's just background removal. And yes, you can use basically any neural network that can do that. And voila, an image without a background. Well, almost without a background. If we look at such an image up close, we will notice that the edges of such an object are precisely cut. We want to ensure that our images don't have this issue, so that our object has outlines, shadows, shading, transitions that are present in the game itself. And how do we achieve this? Well, actually, it's very simple. We won't even actually cut out the object itself. In fact, the background, for example, of a Steam engine, where there is Steam, shadows, and even an animated version of it will not be cut out. The background will already be the color we need, specifically the color of the Steam background. The implementation of such an approach will not require much creativity from us. The idea is simple. We need to find some texture in the game itself and just paint it in the background color. Well, there are two options here depending on the effect we want to achieve. The first is without an outline, and it looks like this. And yes, we won't focus too much on this option because personally, I don't really understand where it can be used. However, if you do need it, there is a guide made for this video with instructions on how to achieve this result. Da. We will focus more on the second option, which looks like this, and I already want to use this, because if you create some composition in Steam, it looks quite beautiful. So first, we need to go to the appropriate folder where the texture we need is located, and this will be the learning grid. Your as in the original tutorial grid. This file is located here, the root folder of Factorio in Steam, then Data, Base, Graphic, Terra, and these two files, Tutorial Grid 1 and Tutorial Grid 2. This is, of course, if you have the Steam version. For the pirated version, skip all this part with Steam and also find our two files. Those two files need to be painted the same color, both of them. This is important. You can edit them in any editor, even paint, for example. Paint them in this color. This is the background color of Steam. And by the way, you can find more colors available in Steam in this guide. But just in case, I'll leave a link in the description. Then don't forget to save. Do the same with the second file. And now, let's check what we got in the game itself. We enter and see that nothing has changed. And why might this happen? In general, if you do not use hidden settings, then it is clear that everything will work out for you. But if you use them, I talked about them in more detail in this video, then the training grid texture will not change for you because you have this setting, Cache Sprite Atlas. This setting caches object textures and, essentially, if the version hasn't been updated and only the textures have changed, the game will not overwrite these changes. And essentially, that's exactly what we did, just to show you. Just change the textures. So, in the main menu, press the key combination Ctrl plus Alt and click on the Settings button. Then a new button, Other, will appear. And here, simply uncheck the Option Cache Sprite Atlas. We save and simply re-enter the game. Then we can enable texture caching again if you need it. Well, it won't hurt and check what happened. As we can see, the texture has now changed and you can use such a background for your purposes. In principle, this can be done not only with Steam, but also with any site that has a colored background. So, there are many possibilities here. Well, that's probably all. If you have any questions or issues during the process, you can write to our Telegram group and if you've watched until the end, then you probably like what I do. And if you want to support or help me, all the links are in the description below the video. And in closing, as always, I want to say a big, big thank you to those who watch me, comment, and of course see you soon, we'll talk again, bye bye.